OK, let's take this uh, H registration. So it's either 1990 or 1991. I think it's a 91, but uh, check the description. Um, Land Rover Defender 200 TDI 110. Hard top for a spin. All light and ignition light come up properly. Starts beautifully. And break off. Off we go. Um, right, what can we tell you about this? I've just done just under 50 miles in this. Uh, it's performed superbly, actually. No, um, no real issues at all, in fairness. Um, showing 146,000 miles. It's only had, I think, three owners. I think the first owner was the uh, Environmental Services Agency. But standard 110, not been messed with. Um, proper 200 TDI Defender engine in it. Should be. Uh, it's got power steering. What can we say about it? Um, starts on the button. There's no uh, overheating or uh, hesitancy or anything. Temperature gauge. I've, I've just stopped for lunch, so the temperature gauge has gone back down to sort of uh, uh, just below, just above cold, but it, it sits dead on the halfway point which is uh, splendid. So yes, nice engine on it. Little puff of smoke when you start it up, as you expect. Black smoke. You can hear the turbo boosting nicely. Feels as lively as a, as a 200 TDI should. Nice clutch and gearbox on it. There's no... Um, synchro problems or jumping out of gear or anything. Um, no unpleasant noises from uh, the box at all. Drivetrain feels pretty solid with, if I let my foot off the throttle, no real backlash in the transmission. The only thing I can find occasionally if you let the foot the throttle off. It's about now you get a very faint sort of, uh, a slight groan I think from the, um, from the diff. Uh, as you let the throttle off on the overrun. Let's see if we can make it do it again. Very fine. Minimal backlash, as I say, in the transmission. A tiny bit, but uh, really not very much at all. So it has power steering. Uh, did it a bit, bit more then. So yeah, a little bit of a groan, I think. I think it's coming from the... Um, uh, from probably the nose bearing in the diff. But when you're actually running like this, you can't hear it, it's fine. This rumbles along quite happily. It's got um, MT tyres on it, so it's good for uh, road and mud. The steering wheel perhaps could be on a little bit straighter, but it tracks nice and straight. But there's no sort of nasty clunks, groans, bangs, rattles or expensive squeaks or noises that I can find from driving it. Just get some of the job really. It's quite a nice unmessed about uh, early Defender. Standard inside here, it's got uh, the, um, that's just me letting my foot off the throttle there and that sort of uh, slight groaning noise. Um, easy clean interior, it's got a centre cubby box, the heater blower fan works and the heater does actually kick out for a Defender, a reasonable amount of heat actually.
really, otherwise not much to say about it. Oh, it's got um, rear wash wipe, which is actually working. Certainly